So I've had the LG G Pro 2 now for approximately a week. It's a uh, great phone. LG's latest uh, flagship phone, their new tablet sized hybrid phone that's uh, competitive to the Note 3. It's a great phone. Um, I'm really liking it. I've actually sold my Note 3 in favor of this. The screen, as you can see here, is uh, very sharp, it's bright, and uh, probably as good as the Note 3 screen. Colors are more realistic, unlike the uh, saturated AMOLED screen that uh, is in the Note 3. I find this screen to be a lot better. I normally actually run brightness at 100%. Now here's just the ultimate dynamic nav bar that I've been running in place of the standard nav bar that came with the, the phone and Android keyboard here instead of the stock LG keyboard. Why I've done this is I wanted to actually be able to see the whole screen and not have the screen taken up by the keys on screen. The back of the phone features a slippery textured back which is nice to look at but it's slippery so there's a risk you could drop the phone. LG should have used a material that gives you more grip. And here on the side here, there's an antenna that comes with, uh, only the Korean versions have this. It's for uh, TV they use in South Korea. It doesn't work anywhere outside of South Korea though. Here's a look at the status indicator LED on the back. Various colors, uh, it shines when you have a missed call messages or whatnot. It's quite a good feature. The camera itself is probably one of the best points of the phone. It's very quick, takes brilliant photos. The 4K video is uh, just amazing. It's really, really good. Here's a quick look at the uh, different camera modes you've got here for the camera. The stabilization works really well. Sometimes it looks like you're actually recording a video and it's on a tripod. It's quite steady. You, you walk around and it does a really good job of getting the shakiness out of the videos. There's a video menu here. Not many options. You can't set a manual focus, which is unfortunate, which would be a really nice feature for LG to add. We've got live effect, dual recording, a few of the options here that you have with the video recorder. Here's a look at the battery life. Running the phone for almost two days, just actually over two days, and the battery is uh, pretty much almost dead, it's only 4% left. On screen time, about two and a half hours. This is the performance of the loudspeaker. Here you're able to actually edit the quick settings menu that you pull down from the top. All these different options here. LG tend to flood it with so many options, but you can actually remove things in settings as seen here in the video. Here's the stock music player. It does a good job, but it is a little slow loading the album art. If you have a look, if I scroll here, there's a bit of lag. It's not really that fast. I think LG can implement a better way to load in those icons, the album covers, I mean. If you take, for example, power amp, there's no such problem with lag and slowdown looking at the album cover art. It all pops up quite quickly and it loads in separately without actually slowing the menu down. Overall, it's a solid phone and I think LG's onto a real winner. So if you're in the market for a phablet and you're not interested in the Note 3 S Pen, this is probably the mobile to go for. Thanks for watching this video.